Why did the teacher get fired from your school? Arrested by the FBI for credit card fraud. It was a few months after the arrest when the reason why he disappeared came out in the open. After some of the others I'm actually okay with yours. Explained elasticity by pulling the bra strap of a girl. Another one for having relationship with a girl from 8th grade 14 yo. Hey Susie come here so I can explain the female reproduction to the class, sir. But you haven't explained the male one yet. Our new band teacher was a young guy, fresh out of college. His first year teaching and he embezzled about a thousand dollars from the band's funds. He got arrested and his possible future career ruined for a thousand bucks. I had a teacher with a gambling addiction claim thousands of dollars collected under his care was lost. School never reported it in and protected him because he was close to retirement. One of the elementary school teachers at the district I went to got arrested for making his class worship him like he was a cult leader. He was totally bonkers. I had a football coach like that. He made us call him God. I signed out of the team pretty quickly. Oh my football coach that's insane. Students laughed she ate toothpaste. Turns out she was an alcoholic trying to cover her breath. 9 out of 10 alcoholics recommend Crest TM. The 10th one passed out and couldn't recommend it. Oddly enough, the 10th alcoholic was a dentist. He didn't come to parent-teacher interview night. The next day, he was late for class and crashed his pickup into a brick sign outside the school. Cops showed up obviously and allegedly he blew twice the legal limit. He called the principal and as he was taken away. He called the principal and as he was taken away. Just while he was at it. Might as well vent some grudges. Two teachers. They got caught fricking in a classroom. Two teachers at my middle school. Man and woman would often walk into the bathroom together. They straight up frick during passing periods. Talk about risky public ex. Anyone could have walked in on them at any moment lol. To be fair it was a staff bathroom. They could lock the door and other teachers would just have to wait. My fifth grade teacher got caught fricking the IT dude in her classroom while we were out for recess. Neither got fired, but were transferred to other schools. My math teacher was a volunteer first responder in NY. She left school to help out during 9, 11 and was fired for not showing back up for two weeks. Freaking hell. The students and parents fought for her, but I think she decided not to come back because of the outright fricked upness. She made a good choice. Sounds like it would have been a toxic work environment anyways. She left school to help out during 9, 11 and was fired for not showing back up for two weeks. I thought it was gonna end with her not coming back at all. She a BAMF though. She had fallen off the wagon and was drinking a lot to the point where it was affecting affecting her memory. We kept doing the same lecture on density in 6th grade science for a month. Until one of my classmates decided to ask another teacher about it. From there she went to rehab. If anyone wants more context. She was our homeroom and science teacher. She was very nice. And married to our assistant principal. So, she had a little bit more leeway. While she was able to remain sober for a while. She eventually passed away due to the effects of her addiction a few years after this. She never seemed like a bad teacher, but she was always stressed to the absolute maximum. Always felt like she was working from behind, and generally struggling to keep up. You know, the traditional tail end of the functioning addict lifestyle. Affecting rather than affecting. That may have been one of the lessons I missed. Your knowledge on density must be phenomenal. Do not fear the man who has learned 1000 concepts once. But the man who has learned one concept 1000 times, Bruce Nye. I mean, that happening could have actually saved her life. Geeky A, V teacher that everyone loved. Knew he was a geek and owned it. Caught in a predator sting trying to solicit underage girls. The kicker was a spring school levy was coming up. Local police conspired with the school district to hide the charges for three weeks until the levy was passed. Someone substituted his class for three weeks. Yet everyone was both devastated and pissed. The district ended the school year early. Does Levy have a meaning besides drafting your serfs into a standing army? Yeah, it means to impose a tax or fine. In this instance it would be a new tax proposal was coming up that would benefit the school. The principal of my elementary school got fired the first year he was hired, or took leave before he was arrested. I'm not actually sure which came first. So a couple kids in my 4th grade class thought they pranked the science teacher by pouring iodine and bleach into his coffee when he wasn't looking. The teacher tasted it as soon as the drink hit his tongue and immediately spit it out. He grilled the class and the kids admitted to it and got sent to the principal's office. 
The principal found out which of them physically poured the chemicals into the coffee, then took him into the bathroom to discipline him, hit him. Apparently he grabbed the bottom of his jaw while screaming in his face. You could hear him echoing through the hallway. Then he squeezed hard enough that the boy started crying. So he slapped him across the face and told him to stop crying. The kid's dad was a lawyer by the way. Suddenly cops were in the building and our new principal was at the door. I mean, yes they were kids, but you literally could have just killed a guy if he had just gulped it. Frickers. Honestly though, kids can be some of the most freaked up little it's in the world. Two kids, I believe they were 10, 12, maybe 13, hatched a plan to get revenge on some girls by raping them and then killing them at knife point while the other held a gun to shoot anyone else who tried to stop them. They got caught because someone noticed in their bag they had a loaded handgun. So they reported it. Whole thing was on the news. And I think one kid is still in jail. The other was released and is doing better reason for release was. Because he was the youngest and everyone felt like he was manipulated into the plan. But one of the craziest things wasn't the fact that they planned it. But as to why. It wasn't a bullying situation. But like a boy. Girl middle schooler picking on each other kind of situation. It sounded more like. Instead of bullying it was just petty bickering. On another side note. I remember the news saying they had a list of all the girls they were gonna do it to. It was a huge list. One of my high school teachers was caught on to catch a predator. I bet it was Walter Babst, the high school teacher from Riverside. CA. Bingo. You guessed it. I haven't watched the video in years. Damn dude. Care to do a little AMA? Is it true he really taught for like a day after being caught? Where did you first hear the news? What did he think? Was he the one you would expect to be caught on TC8B? I'm not sure about him teaching for a day after, but I actually had him as teacher I think my sophomore or junior year. He was creepy forager and a prick. I didn't think he was TCAP capable, but also I was never thinking my HS teachers when I was in HS that way. I heard the news a few years after I graduated from some old HS buddy, watched the video then and kind of never thought about it again till today. Dating a 16 year old female student. He was also a pay teacher. It's always the pay teachers. It was the tech teachers for us. My 6th grade social studies teacher fled the country ahead of charges related to molestating two students. My pay teacher also dated one of his students. He married her. He also continued teaching pay and coaching girls volleyball for 40 more years. This one is actually sort of rather sad. Had an amazing, but eccentric, math teacher who was incredibly involved with helping students. He made sure to always cover his basis so there was nothing really creepy about him. The year I left high school was a senior at this time. Went on to finish my GED. He was fired. Shortly after news an article that he had killed himself with a self-inflicted gunshot. What had happened during this period of time was a student had come forward to the administration and accused him of exual misconduct both of them being males. And unfortunately there was no real way to prove a negative for the missing time outside of school hours. So they promptly let him go, being a gay, black, teacher in South Texas. Um, rough. He wrote a letter basically denying all of the accusations, but had come to the grim realization that at his age, his career was effectively over, so he shot himself in the head. Later the student who made the accusations came forward and said he had fabricated the entire event, because he was failing his grades and angry. The whole event was quietly swept under the rug. Rip Mr. Ethan. You are a good person who was cut down by others' selfishness. Holy it that's depressing. I feel terrible for Mr. Ethan. That's honestly one of my worst fears. What happened to the damn student who caused all this? I wish teachers could sue students and their parents. They treat teachers like disposables. My high school of 500 students lost 5 teachers last year. Because they all had a relationship with the same 15 years old girl. Is this real? Sadly. The story is that this girl started flirting with all her male teachers to get attention and good grades. And they all flirted back and sent her nudes and stuff. Then at the end of the year when she realized how fricked up it was, she exposed them to the whole school. Our beloved teacher, Mr. Mon, had worked there for 29 years without incident and was one of the best teachers there. His classroom was always a laugh riot. He was the best roaster and encourages us to roast him properly. He never failed to get us motivated and a lot of us owe our career inspiration from him. He was fired, because he had jokingly smacked a student on the back of his head for making a stupid comment. It was like something out of a sitcom and all of us expected it and loved it. Yet one student, who was new at the school, was culture shocked by this. He thought it was strange, but hilarious. 
he told his mum offhandedly and his mum became the Karen. Never mind that the student was the teacher's godson. No physical contact was allowed says the Karen. He was suspended with pay for three months pending investigation then was let go. Because the Karen twisted the story and it blew up around the school. A year later, teacher won both the lawsuit against the school and libel case against the Karen with her son being one of the key witnesses. We still keep in contact and roast him for getting rich over smacking kids around. Holy it imagine your son testifying against you for a libel case. She's always been kind of a itch. Your honor. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video please smash the like button and leave a comment which story you liked the most. Subscribe and hit the bell notification for updates on our latest videos. And don't forget to check the links in the description box for more awesome content.